Hi everyone, today we're going to be talking about antiphospholipid antibody syndrome. Uh, this is another episode in our series about autoimmune conditions that affect women. Antiphospholipid syndrome um, is a problem with an attack on the inner lining of blood vessels. Phospholipids are little uh, chemical components of these blood vessels. Now what this produces in terms of symptoms, or how you might even know that you have this, is it produces blood clots uh, when you might not really have any reason to have blood clots. It produces multiple miscarriages. Also, it produces uh, a, uh, a lacy, net-like red rash on the uh, hands and the knees. Now, antiphospholipid syndrome is uh, pretty severe. I mean, this, this can be really be life-threatening. And the reason I'm mentioning, mentioning it to you is, is, number one, there's a lot of women that I see in my practice that have had problems with fertility, have had miscarriages, and no one checks them for this. And I find that uh, pretty uh, scandalous, frankly. Um, I would think that most doctors would want to be checking someone for this. I mean, in my practice, when any time I see that in a history, I ask the woman immediately, you know, have, what, what have you been checked for? And they usually say, nothing. And when you see miscarriages, especially two, three, four miscarriages, you have to start thinking about autoimmunity. Antiphospholipid syndrome is one of the things you should be checking for or get checked for. Another thing is gluten intolerance, now, not necessarily celiac disease because they're not the same thing, gluten sensitivity, or any other type of autoimmunity, Hashimoto's, uh, thyroiditis is also uh, common with uh, miscarriages and infertility. Uh, I remember I, I had a, a, a case of a lady that had a, a, a car wreck and she was a fairly bad car wreck and she developed antiphospholipid syndrome after the car wreck and she had a really hard time. She started going blind in one eye uh, it can be a very advanced, uh, progressive sort of autoimmune condition. A lot of autoimmune conditions are progressive, but sometimes not as rapid and as life-altering as uh, antiphospholipid syndrome can be. Now, I want to tell you about that trauma because if you have had a car wreck or you've broken a leg and then you develop some new symptoms afterwards. Uh, for example, I just had a, a patient the other day that was in uh, Bolivia and she got in a uh, golf cart wreck and broke her teeth out. And when they tried to replace her teeth, um, she has had this problem now where her gums are trying to recede. She also lost about 35 pounds. Turns out she has Hashimoto's and went into a hyperthyroid flare-up of that. Physical trauma is something that is a known trigger for autoimmunity. I had a guy jet skiing a few years ago. He never had a jet ski before. Went jet skiing for like six days and developed an autoimmune neuropathy. Um, these are all things we could talk about if we had a little more time, but uh, antiphospholipids Antiphospholipid syndrome is one of these type of things that can be triggered after trauma. And you see uh, antiphospholipid uh, syndrome in women a lot, but you can also see it in men. Now, when I've seen this in men, it frequently shows up in people that have uh, different types of movement disorders, which is that's another complicated to uh, topic to uh, discuss. So here's the thing. What can you do about this? Well, you know, medically, there's not a lot they do that I think is as, as terribly successful. So you can look at these things from a functional perspective. There are things you can do to look for what might be perpetuating the immune system attacking your blood vessels. There's known triggers. There's vitamin deficiencies. There's certain food sensitivities. It could be a toxic problem. These are all things that really need to be checked. Unfortunately, when you're in the medical model, that kind of standard medical model, that little box, none, none of that stuff gets checked. And I personally have seen people in my practice that have done quite well um, getting out of that model, looking at these other things. So what you want to do is find someone that understands what we're talking about. Someone understands a functional way to look at autoimmunity. Someone that understands that antiphospholipid syndrome can show up as blood clots, as miscarriages, and you can have that uh, rash. Uh, and there are things you can do about it. Uh, but you've got to be a good detective, uh, and, and you just got to find someone that will go to bat for you.